Hello, this is Wesley Fryer, and in this short screencast, I would like to provide some suggestions for folks wanting to find Creative Commons images that you can use in blog posts that you write. One of the things that happens sometimes when people look on the website Flickr is that instead of going to the Creative Commons page to search, they search from the main page, and the main Flickr page will show you all images with all kinds of licenses, not just Creative Commons ones. But if you go to flickr.com slash creative commons, you'll see that there are a variety of different licensed images, and the one that I recommend using is the most liberal license, which is here at the top, it's the attribution license, and next to the number of photos, which is 24.1 million, right now you can click see more, and then you'll get a search link. So you can type in the word you want to search for, like if I search for the word lightning, and then images are going to be shown that are licensed under this specific Creative Commons license. So you can then click on that image and once you are viewing the image there's a couple options. If you right click or control click it will let you view different sizes and you can view for instance the medium sized image here which was probably adequate for your blog post and you can right click or control click that and choose to copy that image address that may be named differently depending on the web browser you're using. I'm using Safari, but Chrome, Firefox will have uh, similar things. That's one option. The other thing that you can do is you can click on the link that says share this and grab the code and that is going to let you copy this HTML code. You can highlight it and uh, copy it with your um, uh, control or command key or right click and then you can paste that into the uh, code version of your blog, the HTML version to paste it. Another option which I found recently thanks to Ryan Collins is this one which is wileyo.com and if you search this site it is going to again search for Flickr but it's automatically going to search just for Creative Commons images and I think I said lighting instead of lightning so let me get my search correct and once I find one of these images that I want, I can go ahead and select it. And what it's going to do a little bit differently is it's going to give me this adjustment slider so I can slide how large I would like that image to be. Notice here at the bottom, it's already got the attribution links. Um, and what it's going to do when I click get the code is again, provide me with code that I don't have to understand. I just copy and paste it and use the HTML view of my um, blogging tool, whatever I'm using to paste below uh, a lot of times is, is good to use. I also will sometimes um, when I select this image and adjust the size um, click center and it'll center the image and then you'll have the text below it if you don't want it left or right a line. Um, another option to keep in mind is comp fight that's c-o-m-p-f-i-g-h-t dot com and the thing to remember about comp fight is you're going to want to click at the top where it says creative commons off I would recommend doing creative commons only and then you can go ahead and type the keyword that you'd like to search for. Comfite is going to show you a lot of different images down here. Um, on some computers running older versions of Internet Explorer, uh, this may not work, and so you may need to use a different browser like Firefox, Chrome, or Safari. Once you get to this page and you click the image, it is going to open up in a new window, and it's going to be the same as what we were doing previously with the direct search on Flickr. Last thing I'll mention is that I've created a website called talkwithmedia.com, and you can visit this website and simply click the link at the top for images, and you will find links to Flickr Creative Commons, CompFight, Wileyo, and then another great page of links from Joyce Valenza, who has uh, just a superb collection of resources there. So, hope that is helpful to you. Uh, it's great to use Creative Commons licensed images because people have already shared permission up front for those images to be reused on different kinds of sites and for different purposes. So, good luck as you seek to talk with media.